നമസ്കാരം മോക് ടെസ്റ്റിന്റെ പുതിയ വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം ഇന്ന് ഇവിടെ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തത് ജൂനിയർ ലാബ് അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് എക്സാം സിലബസിലെ ഫിസിക്സ് പാർട്ടിൽ നിന്നും മുടിൽ നാലിലെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആണ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ജോമെട്രിക് ഷേപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ വേവ് റൺ ദാറ്റ് ഒറിജിനേറ്റ്സ് വെൻ എ പ്ലെയിൻ വേവ് പാസസ് ത്രൂ എ കോൺവെക്സ് ലെൻസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ കൺവേർജിങ് സ്പെരിക്കൽ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഡൈവേർജിങ് സ്പെരിക്കൽ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി പ്ലെയിൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി നൺ ഓഫ് ദി എബോ ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ കൺവേർജിങ് സ്പെരിക്കൽ ദ ജോമെട്രിക് ഷേപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ വേവ് റൺ ദാറ്റ് ഒറിജിനേറ്റ്സ് വെൻ എ പ്ലെയിൻ വേവ് പാസസ് ത്രൂ എ കോൺവെക്സ് ലെൻസ് ഈസ് കൺവേർജിങ് സ്പെരിക്കൽ How can the fringe with the increase in Young's double slit experiment? Option A by decreasing the width of the slit. Option B by reducing the separation of slits. Option C by reducing the wavelength of the slit. Option D by decreasing the distance between slits and the screen. How can the fringe with increase in Young's double slit experiment? Answer option B by reducing the separation of slits. By reducing the separation of slits. the fringe with increase in yang's double slit experiment what is the locus of all particles in a medium vibrating in the same phase called option a fringe option b wavelet option c wavefront option d none of the above the locus of all particles in a medium vibrating in the same phase called wavefront wavefront the locus of all particles in a medium vibrating in the same phase called wavefront which of the following factors does the intensity of light depend on option a frequency option b wavelength option c amplitude option d velocity factors does the intensity of light depend on amplitude the intensity of light depend on amplitude Which of the following light phenomena confirms the transverse nature of light? Option A refraction of light, option B diffraction of light, option C dispersion of light, option D polarization of light. Light phenomena confirms the transverse nature of light is polarization of light. Polarization of light. The light phenomena confirms the transverse nature of light is polarization of light. How does the diffraction band of blue light look in comparison with the red light option a no change option b diffraction pattern becomes narrower option c diffraction pattern becomes broader option d diffraction pattern becomes disappear answer is option b diffraction pattern become narrower narrower the diffraction band of blue light look in comparison with the red light is a diffraction pattern becomes narrower What happens if the monochromatic light used in Young's double slit experiment is replaced by white light? Option A no fringe are observed. Option B all bright fringes become white. Option C all bright fringes have color between violet and red. Option D only the central fringe is white and all other fringes are color. Answer is option D all, only the central fringe is white and all other fringes are color. If the monochromatic light used in Young's double slit experiment is replaced by white light then only the central fringe is white and all other fringes are colored A double slit interference experiment is carried out in air and its ender arrangement is dipped in water the fringe width option A increase option B decrease option C remains unchanged option D fringe pattern disappear the answer is option B decrease A double slit interference experiment is carried out in air and the end air arrangement is dipped in water the fringe width decrease the emission of electrons does not occur in which of the following option a photoelectric emission option b thermo thermionic emission option c secondary emission option d x-ray emission the emission of electron does not occur in which of the following does not occur in x-ray emission the emission of electron does not occur in x-ray emission what happens to the kinetic energy of the emitted electrons when the light is incident on a metal surface option a it varies the frequency of light option b it varies the light intensity option c it varies with the speed of light 
ऑप्शन डी इट वेरीज इरेगुलरी वाट हापन टू द कैनटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द एमिटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वे लाइट ईस इंसिडेंट ऑन ए मेटल सर्फे आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इट वेरीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ लाइट द कैनटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द एमिटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वे द लाइट ईस इंसिडेंट ऑन ए मेटल सर्फे will varies with the frequency of light which of the following statement is true regarding the photoelectric experiment option a the stopping potential increases with increase in intensity of incident light option b the photo current increases with the intensity of light option c the photo current increases with the increase in frequency option d all the above answer is option b the photo current increases with the intensity of light Which of the following statement is true regarding the photoelectric experiment? The correct answer is the photo current increases with the intensity of light. The half life period of a radioactive element is hundred days. After four hundred days, one gram of the element will be reduced to dash gram. Option A one by two, option B one by four, option C one by eight, option D one by sixteen. The half life period of radioactive element is 100 days after 400 days 1 gram of the element will be reduced to 1 by 16 gram answer is 1 by 16 gram the half life period of a radioactive substance is best determined by counting the number of alpha particles emitted per second in a gigamolar counter from its known quantity If the half life period of a radioactive substance is one month, then it option A it will completely disintegrate in two months. Option B, one by eighth of it will remain intact at the end of four months. Option C, three by fourth of it will disintegrate in two months. Option D, it will completely disintegrate in four months. The answer is option A. It will completely disintegrate in two months. In two months, the half-life period of a radioactive substance is best determined by counting the number of alpha particles emitted per second in a gigamolar counter from its known quantity. If the half-life period of a radioactive substance is one month, then it will completely disintegrate in two months. Which of the following statement is true about extrinsic semiconductors? Option A: The gap between the conduction band and the valence band is more than 16 electron volt. Option B: The gap between the conduction band and the valence band is about 1 electron volt. Option C: The gap between the conduction band and the valence band is 100 electron volt and more. Option D: The conduction band and the valence band overlap. The correct answer is option B: The gap between the conduction band and valence band is about 1 electron volt. The correct statement about extrinsic semiconductor is the gap between the conduction band and the valence band is about one electron volt. Which of the following does the resistivity of a semiconductor depends upon? Option A, length of the semiconductor. Option B, atomic nature of the semiconductor. Option C, shape and atomic nature of the semiconductor. Option D, shape of semiconductor. Which of the following does the resistivity of a semiconductor depend upon? Option B, atomic nature of the semiconductor. Which of the following does the resistivity of semiconductor depends upon? Atomic nature of that semiconductor. Why is the mobility of free electrons greater than that of holes? Option A, they are light. Option B, they mutually collide less. Option C, they require low energy to continue the motion. Option D, they carry negative energy. The mobility of free electrons greater than that of holes because they require low energy to continue the motion. They require low energy to continue the motion. What is the random motion of free electrons and holes due to thermal agitation called? Option A pressure, option B diffusion, option C ionization, option D none of the above. The random motion of free electrons and holes due to thermal agitation called diffusion. Diffusion answer is diffusion. 
Which of the following does a hole in the semiconductor define? Option A, a free proton. Option B, a free neutron. Option C, a free electron. Option D, an incomplete part of an electron pair bond. The correct answer is option D, an incomplete part of an electron pair bond. Which of the following does a hole in the semiconductor define? An incomplete part of an electron pair bond. In a simplified half-wave circuit, when the diode is forward biased, it acts as option A, open switch, option B, closed switch, option C, resistor, option D, none of the options. Answer is option B, closed switch. In a simplified half-wave rectifier, when the diode is forward biased, it acts as closed switch. In a full-wave rectifier, the diode conducts for Option A, open half cycle. Option B, full cycle. Option C, alternate half cycle. Option D, none of these. In a full wave rectifier, the diode conducts for alternate half cycle. In a full wave rectifier, the diode conducts for alternate half cycle.